Hello and welcome to a chip off the old block toys. I'm Jeff and today we've got an exciting review of the freight train. Uh, this was released in 2022 and well you may ask why I'm reviewing it now. Well first thing is I didn't have the money to buy it when it first came out and the second thing is the only reason that I was able to buy it was I stopped by my local Lego store and they had a copy of this that was in a damaged box. So they give you 20% off. So it normally retails for $100 $99.99. I got it for $160. So I will never complain about that. I throw away most of my boxes anyways. About the only ones I keep are the Ultimate Collector Series ones. But even then, sometimes I don't. So uh, great deal. So this is set number 60336. 1,153 pieces and six minifigures. All right. So whenever we do a review, we go by a few things. Uh, well, first of all, I give you the dimensions. And then from 0 to 10, I rank the following five things. Value, creativity, playability, ease of build, and part out value. Then, whatever numbers I've assigned to that, I average them out and give you the sixth thing, which is the overall ranking. And that's the average of those. So, give you an idea of overall what I think of the set. So, let's start off with the dimensions. On the Imperial system, from this track to the end of this is 41 and a half inches. It's only 2 and a half inches wide and it's five and a half inches tall to this point here. For those on the metric system, that's 105.5 centimeters by six and a half centimeters by 14 centimeters to here. Let's start off with the uh, minifigures as well. The minifigures are six of them, and they're all unique to this set. So let's go over who they are. So, these do not have names like some of the Star Wars and Harry Potters. Um, so, when a, a, a minifigure is unique to this set, I know this is self-explanatory in some cases. It just means it's not available to any other set. Uh, that can change in time, but as of the recording, all six of these do not appear in any other LEGO set. And this is just called the female car driver. This is called the male car driver. This is the reach stacker driver, which, that's this thing right here. It looks like a forklift to me, but, okay, reach stack driver. This is a female train driver. A train worker and a train worker. Pretty simple. But it is necessary to have many figures on any layout. So let's go over the value. So for this here, there were nine stickers on this, which isn't too bad, but I don't like stickers. However, I do like the value in that most Lego train sets only come with a four pack when it comes to straight track. This one came with four four packs, so 16 pieces total. And I've got majority of it, well, not a majority, I've got, got a few of them here, and then I got the rest stacked over here. And they give you the standard 16 um, curves so you can make a full circle. And oh, it also came with a switch that's being blocked by this engine, but really good on the value, so I'm going to give that a 9. As far as creativity, I'll give it a 10. This does look like a freight train. You do have freight, you do have cars, and you do have this electric thing right here. Plus, you've got the stopper right here, and I don't know the official name with the train, but it's meant to stop a train from going off the track, and they do have that. And plus, they've got this guy here, which can pick up these things here. So anyway, I think it's pretty cool. And creativity is a 10. Playability is also a 10. Uh, it does come with a controller. And, you know, this, this piece here, the motor here. So this can run on a full loop if you've got one. So the playability is definitely a 10. Ease of build, I'll give it a 7. Uh, there is five instruction booklets and a total of 293 steps. So that's about four per step, four pieces per step. Not terribly too bad, but okay. Uh, part out value, I'll give it an 8, and that's because... There's some good pieces like the motor and the battery box and the controller that pretty much can only use, be used in a train. Um, maybe some other uses, but mainly a train. So if you're a train guy and you're going to make trains, that's good. Um, and also the train wheels and stuff are pretty specific trains, not too universal. So that's why part out value is an 8. Now, if you average the whole thing, it's an 8.8, .8, which to me is not a bad score. It's actually a pretty good score. And... I know I don't have them out in my LEGO uh, to collection tours, but I do actually do own quite a few of these LEGO trains. Um, the Emerald Knight, the, uh, I always say it wrong, the Mazurk, uh, the, you know, the shipping container company. 
I apologize, I'm not really good with the names, but I've got that. I got quite a few. Um, and one of these days I am going to put them on the shelf, but as for right now, they're not. They're, they're in a tote. But uh, yeah, I do collect the trains. That is one of the themes because I consider them to be part of City. And as you know, City and Star Wars are my two favorite themes. So that's why the majority of my reviews are City and uh, Star Wars. So anyway. All right, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you have, give me some love. Hit the like button. And if you want to give me some more love, subscribe if you haven't already. I really appreciate any time you guys do that. Also, leave me a comment below. I do respond to most comments. Also, if uh, you want to hear from me and know when I put out videos, which is almost every day, hit that notification and turn on all notifications. And if you guys need pieces for your builds, head over to my BrickLink store. There's a link in the description. It's called a chip off the old block. And right now we've got about 850,000 pieces. I'm working on dropping 160,000 more, which will put us just over a million. So I'm hoping that'll happen here in the next week or two. 160,000 pieces is a lot to process. And because I'm doing it kind of in between here, there, and everywhere, it's going to take a while. Um, also, if you want to help out the channel, uh, please share a link to this video or any other video on, you know, TikTok, uh, I don't know, Facebook, uh, Instagram, wherever you find yourself. And let people know that, hey, this is a cool channel. Because you know what? I can't afford a marketing department, so I need your help. So if you would, please. All right, guys, be good to each other and stay safe out there. And I will catch you on my next video.